Hi guys, let's talk about some printmaking. Our objectives are demonstrate knowledge of the different types of printmaking, develop skill in relief printmaking by creating a lino cut sampler of textures using a variety of lino tools such as U and V tools. Our words worth knowing is printmaking. Printmaking is an art form where designs or images are made by printing them with ink. In most cases, printmaking allows you to create multiple copies of the same image, and this is what makes printmaking different than other types of art making. So four types of printmaking, screen printing, lithography, intaglio, and relief printing. So you can see below how it differs, and it differs where how the ink is placed on a plate. So screen printing is a wire mesh used to transfer ink onto a matrix, except in areas blocking ink with a stencil. A matrix is just what you're putting the ink on. One of the most widely used methods, especially printing. So go look at your shirt. If you have a band t-shirt or a school t-shirt on, that was used um, by screen printing. It is really popular for making t-shirts. Lithography, the image is created from a flat surface as opposed to a raised surface, which is a relief, or in size, which is intaglio. So lithography and offset lithography are planographic processes which rely on the property that water will not mix with oil. So they are using a flat surface to put the ink on and using water and oil to create that print. Intaglio. So it refers to prints made from plates where the areas that carry the ink are below the surface of the plate. So all the areas in your plate that are cut into is what is going to transfer your ink. So the plates are most often made of copper, and the technique on how to do this differs. So there's a whole bunch of different techniques under the intaglio umbrella, and it is the direct opposite of a relief print. And this uh, print by Albert Durer is one of my most famous or favorite prints. I absolutely love this print, and it is done in intaglio. So you can see the amount of detail you can get with this. Relief printing, our last one, the image is created by carving into a surface where the ink is applied to the raised surface. So think of it like a stamp. It's really just a big stamp. And more specifically, under the relief printing umbrella is a linoleum cut, which is what we're going to be doing. So it's a type of relief printing, also called a lino cut, that is characterized by flat, clearly defined areas of color. So you can see two examples below. And to make a linoleum cut, you have some special tools. So one is a matrix, so this is just a linoleum, a gouge, so it looks like this. Oop, there we go. So this is just a series of blades that you cut into the plate. Your printmaking ink, it could be water-based or oil, we're going to be using water-based. A brayer, which allows you to put ink on the plate. And then a barren, so it allows you to press. Um, you can also use a printmaking press, which is specifically used for making prints. So some safety when we're cutting. The tools are very, very sharp. So this could cut my finger if I went hard enough with this. So please be careful. You want to use a backstop. So you can see in that picture that wooden piece on the table. So that allows it so you're not cutting out and into anything to, um, so you're not going to cut into your hand or anything like that. So you're not going to be placing your hand in front of the blade. You want to hold the tool so the handle is in your at the center of your palm, so that's how you can apply pressure to it and cut into the linoleum. The cutting edge of the tool right here should be pointed down. The larger the blade, the harder you might need to push because you're pushing out, you're carving out more of that linoleum. But sometimes I find even the small ones, you might need to give it a little more pressure. And your cutting technique will develop as you go, as you get more comfortable with this. So the last thing about a linoleum print and doing multiple copies and printmaking overall is signing your print. So depending on how many you print, so this one's two out of five, that is called an addition. So this is the second print out of five. You're going to title it. So the title of this one is Owl and then you sign it on the right. So each of these prints will have the addition, so this is the first print out of five, the second print out of five, the third print out of five, title, and signature. All right, so we're gonna practice lino cutting. So we're gonna create a sample of each gouge tool. So this is the gouge tool. They come from one to five, and then there's a separate one that we're not gonna practice with. 
you're going to practice printing, so inking your plate and pressing. And please watch the demo video and or ask me in class to show you because it can be really dangerous because this is very sharp. So I want to make sure nobody gets hurt and everyone has fun. And then check off with me when you're finished with your sampler, but please 